Hello, how are you? My name is Rosalia Wong. Thank you for tuning in my channel. Uh, my channel's name is Adult Education Ingredients. Okay, you might wonder what is Adult Education Ingredients. Just I just take a few moments to explain to you what is Adult Education. Adult Education, as you know, cover um, many, many spectrums in the adult world. Like, uh, it is not for children education, of course. Adult education, like, it covers something like um, in the workplace, in your organization, anything about, like, uh, in the workplace, in the work, even though in the work, you can also uh, uh, focus on internally, like, how uh, adult process information, how the um, leadership strategies are, and uh, what is the workplace um, training, what is the workplace organization and a team and all this, all this, everything about work situation, adult work situation and life and uh, everyday life, communities, organization, the world, everything is under the spectrum of adult education. So it means uh, many, many areas, many, many spectrum. So what I want to um, uh, explain to you about my channel, which is adult education ingredients, which means that I'm going to talk, uh, cover lots of topics uh, about the uh, adult education areas like uh, uh, as I said before all the uh, areas including workplace vocational education organization teaming as many many spectrums and um, so I will bring you every week like different topics uh, as I said I'm not particularly professional in one particular area but as I say my areas is under the big spectrum which is under adult education. So I'm not particularly good in only one certain area. My research and studies and my insights about all the areas, um, every area that I focus on, they are, I just want to let you know that they are under adult education. And I, as I know that so, so many areas in adult education, I, as I know that in organization, if they are not successful or they are not, um, they cannot be continued or they, you know what is bringing them or they want to improve in certain areas and what is the things that they need improve I know but it's just that you have to tell me your story and also you can share with us anything that you have um, one particular interested in the what sort of area like um, uh, you need improvement or lake and you can join my Facebook group for discussion I will put my link of um, to my Facebook group discussion uh, below and you can search for it and then you you're all welcome to join okay now today my topic I'm going to bring you is the um, um, sorry the staff selection okay about the staff selection uh, matters staff sele selection matters within the adult education profession okay now as, as I say I need to read my research and need to focus on and give you the information from my past um, knowledge from the articles and books from the past researchers and educators so I'm not particularly good in certain area but I give you I bring to you the information so I need to read and sometimes I need to focus on the what I have been written so just forgive me for that but through time I will improve myself as I say um, we can as adult we can always improve we need grow uh, we need improvement so we work on that uh, through the one ingredient which is called the lifelong learning so you no know, through lifelong learning we can all improve all right now i'm in the process of improving as well so just be patient okay okay the adult education profession requires long-term commitments all right so therefore decision making to recruit um select and orient full-time continuing education staff seems to be formal so decisions cluster around justifying the position preparing the, uh, the position description and job specifications publicizing the position and then searching to screening and selecting applicants for the position the research was done by Knox in 1982 so after selecting an applicant to the for the position subsequent decisions are related to orientation supervision and staff organization development um, activities to help reassure the success of the person selected all right now 
The orientation of new staff could reduce the problems of like old staff is leaving or becoming discouraged in the field of adult continuing education. The orientation of new staff could also uh, reduce the problems of the new staff by variable background from the related fields which may or could jeopardize the old staff's position and expertise and their expertise. So staff, staff development for new or experienced continuing education resource persons and administration contains some distinctive features to be considered. These features include the following. Number one, any staff members are part-time and work at um, scattered times and locations, so which makes it difficult to assemble many at a time and place for staff development activities. Number two, the staff members have exceedingly varied backgrounds, which makes it difficult to serve many well with any one activity. Number three, the transiency and turnover of those who plan and conduct continuing uh, education activities discourage much investment in staff development. Okay, number four, marginality and instability of many agencies due to fluctuations in funding and staff inadequacies and the mean and um, an easy allocation of time and resources to staff development. Number five, there is a widespread belief that effective continuing education consists mainly of effective interpersonal relations and common sense and little exists by way of a knowledge base to strengthen and guide those involved. So this discourages attention to staff development. All right. Now, fortunately, several assets can be uh, compensated for those liabilities. Some of the major ones are, number one, many of the people who work in continuing education do so in part because of a strong belief that the lifelong learning is both desirable and feasible. Number two, there is a general recognition and improved staff performance can benefit participants so that it can be justified as an agency expense. Number three, many staff members are experts in procedures to help adults um, learn and their knowledge could be used for their benefit. Number four, the educational backgrounds of staff members are enough for the use of uh, self-directed learning activities if they are interested. And number five, some members of the field realize that a substantial amount of knowledge about adult learning, uh, teaching, program development, and the uh, administration has accumulated in recent years, and the dissemination of which could improve practices. Okay, let's, um, let's conclude my today's topic on um, the staff selection um, within the adult education program. I suggest you to listen all over and over again. Maybe you, the best idea is maybe you, when you listen to it, you don't look at me here, you just tell me all, you can listen to what I have been saying or reading from my uh, research from the past and the, the, the knowledge that I gained from the reading and all that and which I really, um, uh, really happy and my pleasure to share with you. And you might get some out of it. You might get some benefits of the points that I have been, I, um, I, I gave you. So you can just listen to it. You know, you think that if I'm, uh, I read from that, it's not really good to look, but you can listen to it. Just tune on and listen. When you sleep, put on the headphone and listen, okay? And also next time I will bring you another topic is called the shift in the landscape of learning which is another interesting topic. There are many, many topics I'm going to bring to you. As I said, I'm not really a profession in all the topics, not professional in the topics, as I say. I can be say that I am a, a professional in adult education and I bring you many, many, um, many, many topics which I turn as ingredients. So I want you to, uh, to, to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And I, bring, I will bring you more next time. And also the most encouraging part is to join my Facebook group as I will 
put the link below and it is a very good uh, uh, discussion group and I always interact with the uh, uh, with the members and uh, they can uh, post the questions they can post their everyday organization problems and uh, the members will help interact with each other they can solve with each other which is a very very good communities and uh, we can start from start from my groups you can have discussion and I will occasionally every weekly I will do a live to bring um, to bring you the new ingredients and explain to you the new ingredients and any questions on your your uh, issues and problems you can share with us and I can have a look at it and I will tell you what I know I will tell you uh, what you need to focus on what sort of ingredients you have like and how are you going to focus on that okay and um, and also other areas of ingredients that you are interested to know you can ask and I post questions every week and you can ask and put down the as you when you join the Facebook group you put down your uh, your questions down under the on the comment where I post the poster and then you can uh, you can ask any issues and problems and I will come to you every week uh, weekly and uh, you uh, okay welcome everybody to join okay anyway um that's all for my for me from today and i hope you join and hope you will tune in every week and uh, as i say uh, please uh please have a good good day or good night wherever you are and stay safe okay thank you for listening and goodbye